Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. This one I'm super excited about. This is going to be all brand new crafting items. I know. And I'm so excited to show you the, all the things that I found at my store. Now, I say brand new because they're brand new to me. They may not be brand new to you, but I've never seen any of this at any of my stores that I shop. All right, let's go. First of all, these little tiny mini mason jars, which are adorable. I have seen these before, but they had the holes for like salt and pepper, but these do not. And I think they will look very cute. I have a little shelf in my dining room and I think they will look super sweet over there. So we have that. This is all, I guess what I would consider farmhouse, rustic kind of decor. But they have these signs. Now I will tell you for a fact that I bought one of these at Target a couple years ago for $5. Now I'm looking at it over here. It was bigger. It was probably, you know, another size bigger, but still for $1.25, so they had it with a whitewash, and then I got it with a dark finish on it. But obviously you can paint these. It's just unfinished wood. Oh, sorry. It's unfinished wood. So you can paint them. You can hang a sign on the back or on the front. You can use letters or stickers or whatever you would like. I think these are great blank crafting projects. And a lot of this stuff, I mean, materials. A lot of this stuff is just blank material so you can do with what you would like. Um, I may have seen these before, but I'm not exactly sure. But these are burlap banners, right? And they hang together. I don't know if they come with a string or if they're pre-hung. But you can put words on it. You get six, six flags per. Now, you could also take them apart and you could hang on it. Um, heck, you could cross stitch on these because they're burlap. You'd have to use like a six, six um, string floss and probably double to fill it in because the holes are very big. But I think that would be super fun to like stitch a word on these. Obviously, you can get more than one package and hook them together and they had different shapes as well. I just liked... I like this one. They had the triangle and then they had the ones with the inverted V as well. And you, they all came with six pieces. But that was so fun. You can also take a stencil and just use some black ink on them. Um, I am beyond excited for these. So I'll show you one at a time. These are just bead wreaths. And you can hang a bow on, you know, like put a bow, some greenery, and just hang them on your wall. The one that I have gotten before was finished or was unfinished. And I was like, but I don't want to go through and paint or stain each. Ha <laughs> ha, they've done it for me. And I love this color. They also had them in natural and they had them in black. I didn't get the natural because I already have a natural one. Um, but the black are round beads and the natural and these are the square beads but it's so fun now if you want you could unbend this wire take this apart and hang different beads or you can mix your beads together and put it back up but quite frankly for a nice summer spring wreath this is going to be so fun and literally so easy to just add a little bit of greenery oh and some a bow or some some such flowers or something just like a little piece and hang it just like that oh i'm so excited and for a dollar 25 guys like i'm dying here i have all kinds of stuff um i grabbed one of these this is a chalkboard however it doesn't have to be chalk i mean you could put stickers on here That's a nice choice thanks you could put stickers on here. You could put a picture on here. I plan on putting a little cross stitch in the middle, just like a small for display purposes. I'm always looking for things to finish my cross stitch and look how thick that is. Quite frankly, you could also pop off this frame. It is a separate piece, but I probably wouldn't. But if you wanted to, you could pry it off, paint the back, put some fabric on the back and then put that front back on. But I like this white and black a lot. 
So I grabbed just one of those. I feel like I have that shape. Oh, here is the other flag shape. I thought I grabbed two. And this is the triangles. And again, you get six pieces of burlap. How fun is that? I mean, just the different things you can create for summertime coming up. Spring is right around the corner. Kill those winter doldrums. Plenty. Okay. I got to get organized here. This one was pretty exciting as well. So they have the wood pieces back. These are... I, I don't even know what they are. They're just, they call them wood slices, but they're like stick, but they're, they're like dowel, I guess, but they're very rustic. Like some of them are cracked. I guess you could, I mean, there's many things you could do with these, but 100% you could put them in a bowl, especially if you do a beach theme because they look very distressed or weathered wood. So they had a pack with these are all pretty uniform in size. And then they had this package here, which the wood is definitely, you get same concept, but you get smaller pieces, larger pieces, all different. You could build something, you could use these to create, I mean, really, it's endless what you can do with these just plain wood slices. And they're pretty lightweight too, which is nice. But I love that they're, they're so distressed and weathered and you get so many different shapes. Like that is so fun. But then they also have these wood slices, which are cut on a bias to give them more face value, right? And then they had them in circles, which I feel like they've had these before, but they had bark on them and these do not. And these are all pretty uniformed little circles, but you could create like Tinker Toys, guys. Tinker Toys. Think about it. But honestly, if you just threw all these in a bowl, you have some great filler. I'm not sure what I'm doing with them, but I cannot wait to sit down. Like I completely think that these, I could put like a design on it and drill a hole and make cute ornaments or gift tags. Or if you do like, um, Fairy Gardens, you can make a walkway with this. I just think they're fantastic. I love it. Oh, I love it. So that was all that they had at my store in that, in the, in the raw wood situation. I'm still moving around from the last video, guys. Now, please hold. I found... I'm, I'm kind of obsessed with the black. Here, I got two of them. But you get the buffalo check bead, a black bead, a white bead, and a natural. And then it repeats. And it ties. You could hang these off of stuff. I mean, this is very modern farmhouse. But you don't have to leave these together. I mean, you could just cut the twine and create whatever you would like to create. You know? I mean, it doesn't have to be this although it could be that just a regular hang it on something in a tiered tray or whatever so i grabbed two of them because i don't feel like these are going to stick around long and i don't really know what i'm going to do with them but i love beads okay so the rest of the items are for my cross stitching display pieces um i'm sorry what the heck dollar tree it's on a easel right? So it'll stand up on your table. It's that distressed whitewash. But quite frankly, if you do any type of small painting, cross stitch, anything, you could just put a magnet or a piece of metal here and a magnet on the back of your projects and they will stick right here. And you can change it out. You could put a sign, you could put something, anything, like, I love it. So this could sit out all year and I just change the decor on the inside when I use a magnet. They also had it in black, but I just grabbed these two. Which I could always paint black if I needed it. But I love it and I love that they stand on their own. You could also, there is a little bit of a lip here. So you could like just stand a picture up on it or put a clip at the top or a like a clothes pin and hold pictures. I mean, there's so many options to do with these blank slate. 
I know. Aren't these awesome? So much new stuff. The one store I was at, the manager's like, you found all my new stuff already. And I said, oh yeah, I sure did. Sure did. Same thing with this, right? It's a blank slate. I'm going to paint it. And if I do little square cross stitches again, or paintings or whatever, put a magnet in the middle and a washer and it will stick. And then I can change it out. I just need display pieces that I can finish my projects. But it doesn't have to just be cross stitch. I can make a little tiny quilt and, and attach it to this and frame it out with this piece. Um, yeah, and this is unfinished, so totally could stain it, paint it, whatever. I love it. I love it. Oh my God. And then the last thing I picked up, again, ooh, sorry, I kicked you. Let me fix you. The last thing I picked up is 100% for cross stitching and probably for gifting for next Christmas. But they are tags right wood tag very thick wood with the beads on a string and i can do a tiny little ornament and attach it right to it i wouldn't even do a magnet i would just attach it right to it i thought i grabbed a white one but they also they came in the natural the white wash and i did get one black but i may go pick up some more of these when I see them because they're fantastic. I mean, they're just perfect bases for anything. Again, Cricut, paint on here, cross stitch, anything, school picture. Your child gets a school picture. You can hang it on, you know, attach it with some glue and Mod Podge. And now you have the perfect Christmas ornament, gift tag, wall hanging. Like there's so much you can do with these base you could cut these off you could paint the beads there's just so much you can do and you're not finding supplies for a dollar 25 at joanne and on these but the front has been that color the back is a plain which you can always paint or you can also take it apart cover it with um, craft paper like glue the craft paper down and then attach something and then you have a pretty background but i just feel like this is something I would not sleep on because um, they're gonna go super fast, I feel like. And if you really wanna get into it, you could order a case of them online and turn these into some type of an advent, like put a, decorate it and put a number and then a hook and you can hang them up every day. Count down to Christmas, count down through Easter, for spring. I mean, they're, it's just a blank slate. Oh, that is all the new wood crafting stuff that I found at my Dollar Tree this week. I'm super excited. Alex, what are you doing? Don't be rude. He's being rude. Alex, don't be rude. All right, guys, um, I've got a couple more videos to make and I will talk with you later. Bye.